Welcome back guys, thank you for flying Mod Aviation 12, your pilot of the virtual skies. Today we are sticking with the military theme here, and uh, I'm showing off a new helicopter I just downloaded. I don't know if you can see what it is from the inside, but it is the Cobra. One of my favorite er, uh, helicopters. I've got a, a favorite in every category, basically. I was trying to start with uh, with the engine shut down and started up and everything, but there's no way to shut this thing down as far as I've found. But I managed to land it on the helipad, kind of crooked. Uh, but the doors do open. You can take the missiles off and stuff and take the guns off to lighten the weight of it, but we really have no need to. Uh, the gun turret does move when you move the stick side to side, but the problem is when you're flying, you can't really aim at anything because you'll just, you'll just turn the helicopter until you roll. And uh, I have got this thing to do a barrel roll, which is so cool. I don't know if you really can in real life, but it's it's cool to, to test the limits on these things. So I'm going to go ahead and close the canopy for me and my gunner here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and take off. We're at Van Nuys in uh, California. So let's go ahead and take off here. There we go. We are up and we are going forward. Awesome. Just go ahead and just kind of taxi out, air taxi out to the runway here. And uh, we'll take off again. Well, we'll take off with the wind. Oh, we're going backwards. I'm not good at helicopter flying. There we go. There we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's go. This thing is fast, too. Alright, let's gain a little bit of altitude here. That was a good looking helicopter. I hope the uh, helicopter sounds coming through for you guys when I post this video. I've been having a lot of trouble with my sounds lately. Mostly my voice, but... That was just a mean looking helicopter. See the gun moving when I turn the helicopter. Yeah, today's a good day. Um, let's go out toward the ocean. I can show you guys how to spawn the ships. If you, uh, if you guys download them. Might as well. This is just kind of a, I wasn't going to make a video tonight, but I figured since uh, I won't be making a video next week, do another, an extra one this week, kind of like I've had the trend of doing because of uh, my vacations lately. flew this a few days ago when I got it. I was trying to see if, uh, if I could switch positions to the front and see if you can see through the, the camera and stuff, but you can't, fortunately. And 
And uh, before anyone asks, there is not a way to fire any of the guns, which is unfortunate, but you know, I'm sure there's probably some sort of mod you can download onto the helicopter. I can do that, but I haven't figured that out yet. I've got to uh, find the time to see if I can, I can modify any of these things to be able to do that. It'd be fun to go into a multiplayer raid and kind of like pick some targets on the ground or something. We're maintaining a good altitude, so you want to get. I, I basically just get to the ocean and get just past the shoreline, out to the water, and then. Uh, from there, I, I spawn the ships, that way I can see them in front of me, or right below me, basically. And, uh... And, uh... Yeah. Sorry, I'm tired. After all the hassle I had yesterday with making three videos, in six hours and only one of them was usable. That was annoying. And all three were the exact same video because the sound kept messing up. But, oh well. It is what it is. Okay, so now that we're out over the water, I'm going to go up to add-ons. Sorry about that. Go to uh, AI ships, and then, uh... No. Are the ships still on here from yesterday? No. Press position. There's already ships still on here? What? Where are they at? There they are! Holy crap! They're, they stay on here until you cancel them. That is awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and then hit delete and the ship disappears. Awesome. We're going to go here, go to this, and then now, this is what I wanted to show you yesterday, is you can go through and choose all these different ships. It's so cool. So let's kind of just find something, here we go, uh, crowded deck, two, and fleet, uh, what's the user position, are they to my right, There are ships all over. And those are the add on ships. But I don't see a carrier, so we're going to delete. We're going to go back to add ons. Go down here and go next page. No, that's not. Uh, 
Crowded deck carrier. One mile ahead. There it is. Awesome. And you can see a crowded deck also. So we'll go ahead and land on it. This would be fun if we get several people to download these ships. And uh, I guess one person just kind of slew on top of the tower or something and watch everyone have a landing contest. That would be pretty freaking sweet. So we're going to come back around this way. I don't think you're supposed to fly behind the control tower on the ship, but that's okay. So. Let's go ahead and descend. Use a little bit of our tail rotor to swing us around here. Key want to say rudder. It is still rudder pedals, I think. There we go. See, it's got the lights, it's got the people, it's got everything. Moving tugs, it's so freaking awesome. Oh, they're, they're taking a, a plane down. Oh no, we just hit the tower. Oh crap, we hit the bridge, we hit the bridge. Ah oh, crap. Well, that turned into a, a failure. All right, let's uh, let's try and do this again. All right, so we're gonna land on the landing strip here. I don't know what it's called on the carrier. So let's descend. This time, watch the tower and the bridge. I am like drifting. There must be a wind out here or something. Okay, this is just awful. It sucks landing a plane. I can't imagine landing a helicopter on a ship, especially when it's really windy and wavy. Oh, man. attempt to land it. Hopefully I can get her down. There we go. We're probably going to land on top of a plane, but... That was horrific. That was bouncy. Okay, well, we are on the ship. So, uh, let's go ahead and take off again. Good to know these ships stay in position, so I can just leave this ship here and use it next time I fly. So we're going to gain a lot of altitude here, and I'm going to show you some of the, uh, the, the, the reason I made this video is to show you how this aircraft handles. I did buy the, or not buy this, I downloaded it off of Riku.com. It is freeware, and, uh, I mean, for freeware, it is incredible, honestly. It, it's, it's a good helicopter, so I recommend it if you're into this kind of stuff. For me, I'm really into anything that flies. It's just what I'm feeling that day. The rotor blades up there. I do wish you could fire the weapons and switch positions with the gunner, but you know, that's that's all right. As long as I can fly it, I'm fine. So we're just gonna keep gaining some altitude here, and then I'm gonna do some flips and some maneuvers.
think we're high enough. We're gonna go ahead and do a uh, a roll. Look at that. That is sick. Awesome. And we recovered. Look at that. Let's watch it from the outside view here. Zoom out just a bit. There we go. We go ahead and roll it over. Look at that. Like it ain't even a helicopter. Alright. This thing can do some pretty crazy stuff too. We'll uh, go dipping and diving through the mountains here. Maybe do a backflip. I haven't tried that yet. So this is my first backflip in the Cobra. Oh yeah. Just like a fixed wing would. That is crazy. Wonder if you can actually do this in a Cobra. Okay, so I just looked it up. This Cobra actually can do flips and rolls, which is pretty cool to know. I know most helicopters, the reason they can't is because their blades are so flexible that they would just break off or bend so much during the G or in the G-force that it would slash the helicopter, just break the blades off. So I think it's pretty cool to see to do that. So let's go ahead and just kind of dip around through the. Uh, in here, of the, the valley, I should say. There we go, look at that, look at that. This is kind of reminding me for some reason I've been on GTA in a while. I can't really do any GTA videos online because I don't have any, I don't have GTA for my computer, I just have it for Xbox One, so I am strictly uh, flight sim right now. And then here, uh, pretty soon, I'm going to start doing uh, models of the week and uh, unboxing videos. That will be uh, had an issue with uh, a trade, and I finally got uh, compensation for the loss of those models that I tried trading. So I will be doing an unboxing video, and I'm probably going to name it uh, Stolen Model Unboxing or something like that, because I'm finally getting my models back that I traded and were uh, technically stolen from me, so be, uh, a great relief to have those models back. One of them I can't buy anymore. So it's, it's gone. But, uh, alright, so we just dip through that valley. And we'll go back here, uh, land of Van Nuys. There's any airport. I can't really tell which is which. You guys are liking my videos so far. I know I'm enjoying making them, so I know that's what counts the most is I enjoy making them. Hopefully, there's someone out there that enjoys watching them. So, if there's even one person that likes watching them, then I am doing what I set out to do. Or even if you get a little bit of information on an aircraft you want or how to just do certain things, if there's something you want to know about flight sim, uh, make a comment and I will do my best to give you an answer. 
I've been playing Flight Sim since 2011, so... Uh, I've, I've kind of like looked through some of the loops. I'm not the best at downloading airplanes. Actually, I recently started re or downloading some new aircraft, and it's been probably a couple of years since I've actually downloaded a plane. And uh, I actually had to look up a tutorial online. And it's the same one I looked up originally when I was first started downloading aircraft. Because I completely forgot where to go, especially with Steam Edition. It's a little more, it's a little different than having the actual disc. And you're adding aircraft. Here I got here, I believe this is Van Nuys. I'm gonna go out here and uh kinda crazy how this area is just surrounded in mountains. something that adds the chopping sound for this too. From inside the helicopter you can't hear the chopping. Yeah, we're just gonna land it. Alright, there we go. Oh, that was bump, bumpy. And I'm back in the air. Let's go over to this H. Hold on. Dub, dub, dub. When I was getting things set up, I actually spawned on the runway and had to fly over here and set myself on the H. So you can see it didn't look the best. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Set her down. Uh, that was rough. I need to replace the skids. But other than that, helicopter looks to be in one piece. Awesome. Okay. So that is the helicopter that I got, the uh, Cobra. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know this is a short video, but just wanted something to something extra to throw in here for you guys this week and uh, still be gone next week hope you guys have enjoyed my video so far hope to see you back out here hope to see you for some live streams and uh, remember to like subscribe tell us about it. if you want to follow me on uh, model aviation 12 on instagram and then i'm also model aviation 12 on youtube obviously and uh same name on twitch i try to keep everything even so it's easy to remember so i hope you guys had fun i know i did We'll like to see you back again, and uh, remember to geek out, aviators. Bye-bye.